So in today's video, we are just going to talk about regex. I know it doesn't sound like too much sexy thing, but one of the things that I really realized when I was really kind of getting my validation into the CFM form or the college face match, which I'm really currently doing right now. So one of the things that I really realized that regex are highly, highly under appreciated itself. One of the things that I really see is like when you really get excited about programming itself and try to figure out what things you should really learn for. Let's say if you have chosen JavaScript itself now, you get excited. Hey, which course should I buy for JavaScript? If you are really going for the Python as well, machine learning, something like that. Hey, which course should I buy for this and that? But, but often time itself, it really happens like when you talk about regex, it really just kind of sits in the corner itself. So I just thought about let's try to talk some something about it. So regex is not any a particular language or particular data schemes, data structure or something like that. It's just a way of expressing particular data or really arranging a pattern itself, something like that. Now, why do we use it? Regex is particularly useful in the data validation and the backend as well for the database management itself. So, so it really kind of helps you to really ease your pressure and burden to do some task itself. So let's take for example, if you really want to validate an email address itself and you try to really just split the uh, split entire email address into a let's say in a split property and then try to find out some elements out there it will take a whole lot of mess for you but instead of this if you really use this email regex what will really happen is if by using the test property with the regex the native javascript property itself you will easily able to find out whether it's whether it is really a true valid email id or not and especially when you just try to go out in the Google itself or you have some sort of and searching API or searching like that. If, if any user sends that query itself to the backend as well, you can really particularly use a regex to really just kind of give and send the result out there for just that particular keyword itself. Now regex is not really associated with any programming language. It's just a way of defining a particular pattern itself in a array or in a string but what and it's really synonymous in every other language so whether you talk about javascript python php ruby on rails uh golang the you know you'll get a subtle difference here and there but majority of the concept or majority of the real type is exactly the same thing as well now at the first glance they may really look really intimidating for you but and it seems really weird to really just kind of I need do I really need to learn all these things the answer is you can but not necessarily you need to know about these things because uh, in most of the cases what are your requirement is for let's say for validity email photos file itself you will get all that thing in, on the stack or if you are really just google search itself now there is a website called regexper.com which essentially really allows you to just kind of visualize the regular expression out there. So let's take for this example of, you know, email while email regex itself. So you can really now visualize in, in front of your screen, like how this actually work, where it just skipping out, what the factors it, it is considering out there. And it really kind of give you a perfect realm of what's actually the scenario between the starting point and the ending point itself. And how it really validates all that thing as well. I know this is a really short video, but I just wanted to make this one because I'm really making up a video on data validation itself for a React stepper form itself that will come up in a few days. So if you're really watching up this in future from month or year or something like that, just make sure to click here, the I button above right here that may pop up in future when that video will come out. So till then, stay connected, stay subscribed, if you have any question, queries or comments, just leave it down in the comment box below and I'll help you and I'll be happy to get back to you. So, bye.